Welcome to C++ Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to start to talk about classes. C++ classes are in essence a container for multiple variables of different data types and also class-specific functions. Now these variables and these functions are only for the use in that specific class. So let's jump into the coding and I will explain as we go along. So we open code blocks, we will create a new empty file and we will save this file as my first class dot cpp and we will save this. Now, a class is not the whole program. A class is just some of the representation of the logic of the program. So, let's start off with including our basic input and output stream. And we continue saying using namespace std int main void our main function and return zero and we will save this and press the build and run button just to make sure that the program executed successfully to check if there's no errors great so we can continue so a class is a lot like a structure that can be found in c programming and in C++ programming, but the main difference is it can contain variables and functions. So let's declare our basic class. So first of all, we will say class, and then class will have a name. Each class has its own specific name, the same as a variable. And we will make this class and we will call it student. So student will be the class. Then after we begin with open and close curly brackets and then a semicolon to end the class. And that is the basic container where our variables and our class specific functions will reside in. In a class, your variables and functions may have three um, properties, either one of these three properties. And these properties are called private, public, or protected. And we will only focus for now on private and public. Now, what's the difference between private and public? Public um, variables and public functions are accessible from anyone else. So if you look at the class and you create a entity of type student class, you will be able to access those public functions with that entity of type student class and then on the other hand the private variables and private functions you will not be able to access so we've got private and we've got public so we can access public but we can't access private so private is like some of the data some of the functions that the class keep close so that no one else can alter those variables or data and only the functions that are public can interact with the private um, variables or functions for that matter. So we've got private and public. So let's start off by saying public double point 
and we also say private so we've got public and private now if we look at the common class classes that are used in industry and very commonly used our private section in the class is normally class specific variables so we create variables underneath private so the private is like all the data all our storing capacity so in the private section we store um, data and we don't want everyone to access that data we want to keep it private so that only the functions that are public in the class can access those variables and change it so we can make sure that they don't change um, by mistake they are explicitly changed in a certain manner so in order for the class to work optimally and effectively so under private we normally create our variables for that class so if we think of variables or data for a student what does a student have a student has a name so what we could do is we can say string name and this student class then now effectively have a data variable called name and a student name can be in that variable and then we can also have a function in the public now we can have private fu functions and we can have public functions normally most of our functions are public the functions are our way to interact with the variables so we will create a void display function and this display function will not have any parameters or return variables and we will have open and close curly brackets for this function and inside this function we will just say see out my name oops let's say my name is name but what is the value of name so let's keep it before we use that variable let's keep it as is welcome to and let or let's say just welcome to student now we've got a class and this class has a name student it's got a public function and it's got a private name that's of start string so we've got a public function and a private variable so that is a class now a class is like a um, house plan if you may it's not the physical implementation of a house so it's not the built house it's the plan it's not the physical house so we need to go and create a entity of class student so that we can actually work with a specific student of type class student so if we think of this class as the plan and we create an entity of class student that's the actual physical implementation of this class and we call that the object so the object is the physical manifestation of the class student so in main we're going to create a 
object of type student. So we will say student and this student will have, let's say, we will call this student one. So student one is of type student. So student one is now the physical manifestation of this class. And now we can work with student one. Student one is now this whole thing. Student one has its own string name and it's got its own display function. And what we can do now with student one is we can call student one display and student one display is the function the public function that we can access and if we run this you will see welcome to student remember we cannot access name we cannot say student one dot name is equal to Jane we cannot do that if we save build and run this will be an error but let's make this public and let's see what will happen now so we've taken away private okay so string name is now public and now we actually gave the name to Jane. So Jane is now stored inside the name. And now we can actually say C out. Hi, my name is name. And we can go and call the display function. And if we do that, let's just close the command prompt there and we build and run. You will see, hi, my name is Jane. Great. So that's the basics of a class. A class is a container that holds multiple functions and multiple variables of different data types. And each of those functions and variables are either defined as public, private, or protected. But we're going to specifically focus on public and private. Public is accessible to um, the outside world, if you may. If you have the clear object of type student, you can access the functions that are public and the variables that are public but you cannot access the private variables and or functions so public accessible through the object and private not accessible through the object only accessible by the functions inside the class okay great that's all from me thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.